that's better actually. That's a better <laughs> angle. Nice. Oh, oh. Wow. Until it drops. My father told me when I was young to play the fire be careful son. Hey everybody, busy day today actually. Uh, we have Charlie this morning shearing, uh, shipping quite a few lambs today and it's also kind of a sad day. It's Shania's last day with me. Got the lambs loaded in the trailer off to our actually these are just going to the auction barn about 40 minutes away so while we're driving i'm gonna ask shania all about her she's been with me for two and a half years so i'm gonna have a little q a with shania My mother told me when I was young We searched by your sorry son You won't be lonely if you fall in love Over and over again and again I'm living my life according to the law of attraction It's like you Well, Shania, it's your last day. So what, do you pretty, think of, what do you think of that? Pretty sad. It's pretty sad. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know where I'm gonna work yet. Ah, <laughs> uh, we'll figure it out. They'll see you on YouTube and you'll be a hot commodity out in, uh, where is Old? In Old? Is it called it, Old? Yep, it's called Old. old. It's uh, north of Calgary. So Shania is, got accepted in the spring to Old's College out in uh, Alberta, like she just said. And what are you taking out there, Shania? Agriculture Management. And it's a two-year program. Nice. Did you always want to go to college? No, I did not want to go to college at all. <laughs> so when did you change your mind? That I needed more background on farming, <laughs> more of the business stuff and everything. Good. Do you want to be in farming or do you want to work for a farming business or what do you want to do? I'm not sure yet, but hopefully have my own farm of some sort. <laughs> awesome. So Shania comes from a, f a family of probably the hardest workers I know in our area. <laughs> Uh, just about 10 minutes from me. When did you start with me? I don't remember. Was it two and a half years ago? Uh, two years? Three May years? 2015. When I was going into grade 11. 2015? Before. Yeah. So it's yeah. been just over two years. Yeah. So did you, did you have any experience with sheep before you worked for me? No, I had like no experience on farms, only like our own farm, which isn't much. <laughs> well, it's a, like a mixed farm, right? Yeah. <laughs> and your brother has a lot of veal calves, yeah. right? What did you find the most surprising about sheep or sheep farming? Um, a lot of updated stuff, like weighing them and everything. That's pretty cool. You Never like, knew that the uh, the ear tag was Bluetooth. Yeah. <laughs> that you could scan it. That you can scan it. Yeah. So what else? What What else do you want to say on your last day? Well, I'll probably miss this place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't think a lot of people actually would say that working for me. So that's I'm gonna take that as a compliment. <laughs> Do you think you'd ever want to start your own sheep farm someday? I don't, sheep if I could get like quota and stuff like that, I probably would. But <laughs> quota for what? C cows, dairy cows. So you would rather? Do you think you'd rather milk cows? Yeah. Yeah, you like that better? Yeah, I do. You sound like my daughter. <laughs> That's okay. You can be honest. Um, I grew up milking cows, so I I know what. Once you get it, you get a bug, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't think I've ever had a job for this long, actually. Yeah. <laughs> just so I just don't get I don't I don't get rid of anybody that I like, you know. <laughs> Shania has been um, one of those workers that I don't have to show more a lot of times how to do something because you watch and you listen. Yeah. And then well, what, what my mom says, but <laughs> yeah, moms moms don't count. Moms are always mean. Take it from me, I'm a mean mom. Um, Sorry, Renee, you're not me. A lot of things that I notice when you're not there are the things I'm like, I can't believe she did that. Like, I'll go and I'll see a job. I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe she did that on her own. I never had to tell her. I appreciate all those little things. So I didn't get you a card. I didn't get you a cake, but I got you a pizza today. Yeah, that was pretty delicious. Yeah, that was so <laughs> <laughs> I made you work for it because you had to help Charlie Shear. Thank you for being my, the bestest worker I've ever had. Thanks, Sandy. You're welcome. <laughs> Got back from shipping lambs and Mark got back from meetings in, I think he was in Toronto today actually, and decided we got rained out two nights ago uh, trying to get this third cut hay off. Didn't get the hay done so we are ripping it off really well tonight. I think we're on our last two loads, uh, which is nice, get it in before dark. <laughs> We're just wrapping up here. Uh, we did say goodbye to Shania today. So I think today I was kind of in a funk just because um, I was sad she was leaving. She's been a, a really big help for me and and uh, helped me get off the farm a little bit more. So I guess my question to you, YouTube, is how do we make agriculture a little more enticing for our young our younger generation like people in high school people in college it doesn't have to be farmers that end up farming it can be anybody so how do we how do we get them interested how do we bring them to our world I think it's important we we get some more people in agriculture and agriculture is technological it is innovative it is cool it is awesome I think it's up to us to to um, get people interested in it and and interested in the fact that they're gonna work in it so that is my call to you guys I guess that's why I do these vlogs too is is to make people not scared of it I'm a girl and a woman in agriculture and um, we can do it anybody can do it we have hard days and I rely on a lot of guys around me I am not gonna lie love to hear your responses Thanks for watching.